So how can we expect to find a property when we do our final walkthrough and then we're heading to settlement? The contract reads that it should be free of all trash and debris and broom swept and clean. So Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, I would r recommend that you plan on cleaning before you move in. So your idea of clean and the seller's idea of clean are probably not the same thing, right? So you should plan on cleaning or have a professional clean before you move in if that's what your comfort level is. The other thing we can expect is whatever we agreed upon in the contract of the inclusions and exclusions, what's included with the property, what's excluded with the property, whatever we saw initially, that's what should be there. Okay, and that's it. The, you know, Mr. Seller, I always suggest get that, get that, pull that out. Let's make sure you're doing what you said you were going to do. We're not going to leave anything else apart from uh, maybe filters for your HVAC. If they recently painted, you could leave the paint colors. If you recently had flooring put down, you can leave some of the flooring products so that if they need to repair something, they have it. Those kind of items, it's okay to, re to leave. Other than that, there should be nothing in the house at all, unless you've agreed upon it prior. No lawn furniture, no old ladders, no rusty garden tools. Uh, I mean, some buyers would love to have that. Let's talk about it ahead of time, not when we go for the final walkthrough.